608 now, a new survey from Angie's List found 16% of homes need a new paint job. But there are some things you should know before breaking out the brushes. Interior painting is one of the cheapest and easiest ways to change the look of your home. Outside, it's not that cheap or easy. Think thousands versus hundreds. You also have other things to consider. Will you spray or roll? What happens if someone gets hurt or damages the house? And how do you get reliable bids? When getting your estimate on exterior painting, be sure to ask the painters what type of process they're going to use. If they plan to spray the home, it's gonna use more paint. If they're gonna roll it, it'll likely take longer. This will allow you to compare apples to apples when comparing estimates. Angie says not to bother with a company that wants to give you an estimate over the phone. Get at least three reputable companies that'll come to your home who provide a thorough estimate and tell you who's actually doing the work. Angie says ask about that to ensure you're not the one liable for the crew. As long as the, the spray application uh, is back brush and back rolled and the paint's applied at the correct thickness, it's really no different than the brush and roll application only. Another question to ask is how they'll get the paint on the house. Todd Cartmel prefers brushing and rolling over standard spraying, but knows lots of consumers prefer the faster spraying process. And a lot of times, that crew doesn't have workman's comp insurance, doesn't carry liability insurance, which leaves the homeowner unprotected in the event that something may happen. Regardless of the application method, professional painters say paint quality is key, and that premium product is well worth the cost. Applied correctly, you may not have to paint again for 12 years. And if you live in an older home, there's a safety issue to be aware of. If your home was built before 1978, it is possible that your home has lead paint and there are federal regulations about proper procedures to be used when painting your home. When you're hiring a painter and they don't bring up these regulations, you should get another painter. Angie says you should expect to pay between $2,700 and $4,100 for a 1,500 square foot home. You could save a little bit of money by buying the paint yourself. Jeff?